here is Backwoods Billy. It's going to be the beautiful Delmarva Eastern Shore where we're bug infested today. So we're in the tent, even though we helicopter spraying done. The county, in its infinite cheapness, doesn't spray. It is the state, and there's money, by the way, to do that. Um, anyway, I'm talking about El Sully, a Mexican style beer by 21st Amendment. I'll put everything in the description box. You can click the arrows and drop down. I'll have uh, what your IBUs, your 4.8% alcohol by volume. It's got Pilsner and Vienna Malt, so put that in there. It has the Mexican strain of yeast, which is going to produce a, um, it's going to be more highly attuned, so you're going to have a drier, cleaner, crisper beer, uh, you know, something that's highly attuned. Or, which, and basically, it just means that more of your sugars convert to alcohol. It's a measure of percentage of sugars to convert to alcohol. Um, I shot this. You couldn't hear it, so I reshot it. I reshooting it. And um, this is all Sully. I've had a couple of these, so they're really good beers. The Backwoods Billy Two Thumbs Up, before we even look at this, I'm going to put a recipe in here, and I'll give a shout out to Christie's Cooking Channel, uh, who has some really good recipes. Anybody that wants some good food, go to her channel. And um, I was speaking with Ron Garbus out of New England. There's a lot of New England beers. Um, and basically, I talked about the yeast that he was talking about. He reviewed a Pilsner that used a Bavarian yeast, and its character is basically going to be more tart. The yeast is going to make the beer tart. It's also going to give it a slight malty, more maltiness that you're going to get out of it with the yeast. Now, this yeast is just going to make the beer drier. Um, and this one, the 2016 Great American Beer Festival Gold Medal, people. Gold medal beer right here. Now, it did run it for the cream ale style. Um, Cream ales, which a lot of people I've seen say that they're, um, it, it can be done several ways. Most companies that make a cream ale basically um, use it, brew it like an ale, and in essence, they utilize a lager yeast. Some people that brew a cream ale will brew an ale and mix it with a lager, or brew a lager, mix it with an ale, same difference. Other people will brew the ale and then use the lager yeast. Any of those ways are acceptable. What defines that category, and of course the BJCP, guidelines for that style are that the beer is to be more highly carbonated, more highly attuned. In other words, again, more of the sugars converted to alcohol. We have a light color, um, more highly carbonated, and a medium to light body. This beer is going to have a medium mouthfeel, medium body, and the aromas, you're going to get the sweet bready malt. It's going to get a lot of the sweet corn when you smell this as well. I get um, apples with this. I get grape. Very, very, very nice fragrance. Now, now the mouthfeel of this again is going to be on the light side of medium. And you get the Vienna malts and your light Pilsner malts with this. And when I hold up, look at it, it's going to be a light golden, leaning almost towards a medium golden color. The heavy texture doesn't last long with this. Um, now, in a Mexican style beer, is going to be perceived with the same carbonation if I did an American lager versus a Mexican as. That it's more highly carbonated, when in essence it's the same carbonation because of how the yeast attunes the beer. In other words, there's more of the sugars convert to alcohol. Now, I've heard some people say that corn is only utilized in cheap beers. I only brew in accordance with the German purity law, which, by the way, is a bullshit law that was only out there because of the fact that the brewers were basically using the ingredients that bakers used. And by the way, the ruling class exempted certain brewers that they used from that rule. Ta-da! Corn is utilized in this beer, in essence, in other beers, so that basically the body doesn't get any heavier, and that, in essence, that more of the sugars convert to alcohol without increasing the feel, mouthfeel, or the body of the beer. And the corn's going to basically more of those sugars convert than in the malt would. You are going to have a slight graininess to this. In my mind, not as much as you would with the cream ale, and also Cream ales typically tend to be a little more carbonated than this, but this is well carbonated. Now, I'm serving this at 65 degrees. Recommended serving temperature is 32 to 39 degrees for a lager. I would say um, with this, 35 degrees, in my opinion, would be optimal, but that's being a beer geek. Um, 32 to 39 is fine. Zero to four degrees Celsius. Um, I, would, I would say that um, the beer is a really good beer. Give it two thumbs up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to post the food recipe in the description. And like I said, it's a... Um, 21st Amendments, Al Sully, 
2016 gold medal winner for the cream ale style units of Mexican lager. Two thumbs up. I mean, to me, um, this is one of the better Mexican style beers, especially as far as the craft beer is going. And people say, well, why would a craft beer utilize corn? Because if you go to Mexico, that's what the Mexican brewers utilize is corn. So you want to have an authentic taste, utilize corn. Also, if you want the buy to be light and don't want to affect the color, you utilize corn. Now, when I was speaking to Ron Garvis, who does the New England beer reviews, uh, he reviewed a beer, Smutty Nose, uh, a Pilsner, Bundabar Pilsner, and you can go look at it. Basically, one of the malts that they utilize is utilized because it has more acidic quality to it, and the German, basically the law wouldn't allow them to add anything, so they came up with an acidic malt, and that's how they got around that. But anyway, so back was Billy, two thumbs up. Um, Drunk as Poe is another good channel. Um, I'll put a couple links down there for you. And I always joke with Jerry about being the beer snack review guy, Jerry Fort. Um, but um, I'll give it back with Billy two thumbs up on this beer. And don't forget to click like and subscribe to Backwoods Billy Beer Reviews. Thanks for your time and have a prosperous day.